you then. Time for the second unboxing of this massive underworld up vein multi-parter, which coincidentally enough is the first unboxing for part two of this massive underworld update multi-parter. Um, yeah, very happy to have this uh, book in my collection. Um, nearly picked it up at Dimensions uh, 2016 last year, and I should have done, but I think I got this cheaper down for what price it was at Dimensions anyway, so yeah, really not really complaining. Um, parcel now. Oh, nice and smooth. So yes, if you've got really good eyesight or pretty much telescopes for eyes, this uh, you would have already known that this is the Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure. Oh no, it isn't. Which is the very first um, uh, Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure or solo one um, that there is. Um, so yeah, this opens up the Beneath Summerfield line of books, and I nearly picked it up at um, uh, Dimensions. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let us begin the presentation of this Doctor Who book. So with the New Adventures NA, oh no it isn't by Paul Cornell. Uh, and then for the cover itself, you've got Beneath Summerfield, um, her cat, that I forget the name of, who is wielding a gun, which is some pussy power right there and then which is also sound um, who is sort of resting on these sort of rocks here for all sorts of nice sort of lightning bolt strikes sort of nice sort of kaleidoscopic colours of purples, blues, greens and turquoises and pinks uh, with a sort of very sort of um, opposite version of that up there for sort of more sort of lightning bolts all sort of this sort of magmatic um, sort of colour scheme which looks like something out of a volcano in the background there yeah very very nice cover overall and then for the spine, we have Oh No It Isn't, uh, Paul Cornell, N.A. Then for the back, we have um, uh, the synopsis on this book. The first book in a new series of new adventures, um, be about Paul Cornell. Uh, cover is by Slater Anderson, cover painting is by John Sullivan. The new adventures and imprints of Virgin Publishing Limited, original price is science fiction barcode. And now for the synopsis of this Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure. I know it isn't. The King's balls get bigger every year. Beneath Summerfield is settling into her new job as Professor of Archaeology at St. Oscar's University on the planet Della, one of the most prestigious centres of learning in the Milky Way. She wants to put the past, especially her failed marriage, behind her, so she's glad when she gets a chance to take her tutorial group to investigate the lost civilization of perfection, three whole weeks of archaeological research in the field, the perfect way to forget your worries. She doesn't bank on the on free things. The Melvin Stokes, Professor of Applied Art, and various other academics would be along for the ride. That victim that vicious alien that vicious alien marauders would decide to explore the planets at the same time, and that a reactivated perfection device would plunge into a into a situation that could only be described as Panto. The first book in a new series of the new adventures, Paul Cornell, uh, is the chief uh, exponent of the squid in the mouth genre of fantasy which honestly sounds like a weird porn he has many novels published in deep by virgin is co-author of the guinness book of brick classic british tv and his television work includes episodes of the ward and plays for bbc2 he lives he lives far too near to cricklewood um yeah quite an interesting synopsis it doesn't sound that good but um, it's quite a short book and I will be reading this to like start up the Beneath Summerfield range as I want to read this before um, the other ones that I'm guessing this Underworld Update 2 multi-parter so yeah for the interior of this Doctor Who book we have um, NA I know it isn't a uh, sort of synopsis or sort of uh, extraction from the book um, the New Adventures I know it isn't Paul Cornell NA then there you've got various copyright guff uh, dedication. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Not that name. Come on, focus. Please. Yeah, it's not even wanting to focus on Stephen Moffat's name. That is a good camera. Um, for Jacqueline Rayner. Um, well, I really sound like South Park. Um, and then there you've got a quote from Emma Thompson. Laughter is a celebration of our failings. That's what clowns are for, and that's what I am. 
and then there you've got uh, the start of this Doctor Who Beneath Summerfield book. This is a 246 page long Beneath Summerfield adventure spread across 13 core chapters. There's no prologue or epilogue. And at the back we've got advertisements for uh, the, the upcoming free um, uh, Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventures from the Range, Dragon's Wrath, Beyond the Sun and Ship of Fools. So yeah, I don't know a terrible lot about this book. Paul Cornell is quite a popular writer with Doctor Who. He wrote, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the acclaimed Human Nature, uh, Time Wirim Apocalypse, no, uh, Revelation, and I think another version of New Adventure that I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, he's quite an acclaimed uh, sort of writer for the Seventh Doctor Virgin New Adventures, so I found uh, Human Nature to be a bit overrated, I do think. Um, but I, it should be interesting nonetheless to see what I know it isn't is like and I am interested into seeing what it is like. Um, so yeah, that's that unboxing, on to the next unboxing. On to the next unboxing. Um, I don't quite know what this one's going to be. Um, but I'm pretty damn sure this is one of the books that I have ordered. It's um, definitely going to be another Beneath Summerfield one, I'm pretty sure. I guarantee you that, but I don't quite know what one. So, without further ado, let's begin and see what book this is. It's all nice and easy. And... Oh damn, this is a battered one. Oh, I know what this one is. This is the third Beneath Summerfield new adventure from the range. It is Beyond the Sun by Matthew Jones. Um, so yeah, um, wow, that's a stunning cover. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let us begin the sort of showcasing of this. Uh, Doctor Who book. So we have the New Adventures NA, Beyond the Sun, Matthew Jones, and then for the cover art itself we have these two sort of figures uh, or characters in the story on this sort of rocky sort of landscape with a very sort of nice sort of purplish sort of alien looking background with all sorts of ice crystals and what looks like a spaceship and a sun. Um, yeah, very nice cover overall. And then for the spine we have Beyond the Sun, Matthew Jones, NA. For the back of this Doctor Who book, we have Beyond the Sun, uh, Synopsis, uh, The New Adventures, a bit about Matthew Jones, Matthew Jones wrote Bad Therapy, the best new adventure I've read this year, this year, Magnificent TV Zone, he lives in East London, and then there you've got the cover design is by Slater Anderson, cover paintings by Mark Salawowski, and then they've got the original recommended uh, prices for UK, USA, Canada and Australia and what genre this book is and then there you've got a barcode and now for the synopsis on this Doctor Who book Beyond the Sun, you're on your own Bernice Bernice Summerfield has drawn the short straw not for her pleasures of intergalactic conferences and highbrow lecture tours Oh no, she's forced to take two overlooked freshers on the very first dig, and just when it seems things can't get any worse, her no-good ex-husband Jason turns up, claiming that he is in deadly danger. Benny finally begins to believe his wild claims, but unfortunately only after he has been kidnapped from his hotel room. Feeling guilty, she sets out to rescue him. Well, let's face it, no one else is going to. Her only clue is a dusty artifact that Jason claimed was part of an ancient and powerful weapon, but Professor Bernice Summerfield PhD knows that it's just silly nonsense. She's been an archaeologist long enough to know that lost alien civilizations do not leave their most powerful weapons lying around for any nutter to find, do they? Once again, Bernie is, uh, is all that stands between Jason and his own mistakes, as she tries to prevent the wrong people acquiring the terrible and somewhat unlikely weapon a, rumor, a weapon rumoured to have powers beyond the sun. And for the interior of this Doctor Who book we have some more sort of postage stuff. Anyways, we have N.A. Beyond the Sun, a sort of quote from the book. 
Then we have the New Adventures Beyond the Sun, Matthew Jones, NA, uh, copyright Guff, and so sort of dedication. And there we've got a start of this Doctor Who Beneath Summerfield adventure. This is a let's have a little look here. A 295 page long Beneath Summerfield novel spread across a prologue and epilogue and 25 core chapters. And then there we've got coming soon in the new adventures, Ship of Falls, Down and Deadfall. And then they've just got the back there. Yes, this is quite an early um, Beneath Summerfield um, Virgin New Adventure. As a matter of fact, this is the third one that was released. It was... Oh no, it isn't that started up the range. Then it was Dragon's Wrath, and then it was this. So yes, this is the third Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure, and I do look forward to reading it. As Matthew Jones, in my opinion, is a very good Doctor Who writer. I personally really liked his novel Bad Therapy, which was mentioned on the back, and I will agree that that's a great uh, novel uh, to read. And I would say if you really like the Autons, um, you would like the novel Bad Therapy a lot, as it has monsters in it that are very similar to the Autons, and I do think it does act as a good sort of characterisation and character piece for the Seventh Doctor and Christopher Quedge after the rather harrowing um, uh, finale for Rosalind Forrester in the book chronologically before uh, So Vile a Sin. So yeah, Matthew Jones pulled off an amazing or great novel with that that I would give an 8 and yeah, that's just an absolutely fantastic novel and he also wrote a new series two-parter, The Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit which I do think is quite a good uh, adventure overall and just in general I think Matthew Jones is a really strong sort of writer and I think that the blurb it sounds really good um, it was quite long but I do think it sounds like a really good sort of interesting read and I do personally look forward to reading this as the blurb sounded good it sounds like nice sort of character sort of uh, set or driven piece between Beneath Summerfield and um, her husband, ex-husband Jason, if I got that right, um, on the set for this artifact that powers beyond the sun. Um, so yeah, sounds like a solid, solid Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure overall, and yeah, I greatly look forward to reading it. Anyways, on to the next unboxing. Alrighty then, on to the fourth unboxing of this multi-part Underworld update. And um, before I get complaint comments, that's some bell end using a fucking chainsaw outside. Uh, anyways, this is the bundle for this section. Um, yeah, this is the only bundle in this video or videos you will see. This is a combined bundle of two different bundles from the same seller, and I was able to compact it into one bundle. I will be showcasing two of the books from this bundle and the final four books from this six book bundle in the next part of this Underworld update uh, madness. Um, so yeah, one of the books in here pretty excited to show you, but I will be showing you that in the next part. Um, as in fact, the final book from this book unboxing, or from this specific book unboxing, I will be showcasing. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's begin this opening. So yeah, I really, really, really hammered down on the Beneath Summerfield books. Thanks to this bundle, I have now 10, 10 of the 27 Beneath Summerfield books there are. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And by um, the one that I said I was really happy about, um, I mean that uh, it's... Ooh, hard to say between it and another certain Beneath Summerfield book, um, but it's possibly the rarest Beneath Summerfield book there is, and it's quite an um, iconic one, uh, to say the least, um, and you'll see what I mean when I reveal the book in the next part. 
Right. Nearly cut myself there. Right, it's packaged in two uh, little uh, packages, as you can see within this package. As you can see then, like um, cling film, um, which is quite an interesting method to pack your Doctor Who books, but it works and it's here. Um, yeah, thanks to this seller, he's amazing uh, sort of postage and stuff. I won this the day before yesterday, or maybe the day before that, and this has already arrived. Unfortunately, I in here should have been so vile a sin, believe it or not. Um, as a matter of fact, this could have even been a nine book unboxing with so vile a sin in it. However, that he abruptly let he abruptly cut off the listing with so vile a sin and two other beneath Summerfield books in it. Um, Return to the Fractured Planet and um, the Mary Shoe Extrusion. Um, I would have gotten that as well, believe it or not, for possibly even like 10 quid or something for fucking Savala Sin, but for some reason he cut cut short that listing and sort of, it was sort of taken off and just, just with the message, this uh, item is no longer available because the seller um, no longer has it or something like that. I'll probably put a screenshot on the screen right now just to show you what I mean. Right then, almost into this massive bundle, as you can see, it's quite industrial, or very sort of um, interesting. I really shouldn't be using a knife for this, should I? Whatever. Um, I don't even need a knife anymore, I would say. Here's the seller has actually put the books into chronological order of when the Beneath Summerfield books came out, which is awesome. Um, no, he hasn't actually. Uh, well, all but one book he has, uh, coincidentally enough. All but two, rather. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Alright then, as you saw, he's packaged them into two different sort of um, packages, so I can do like a sub unboxing if I wanted to. Um, so, yeah, the three books, or two of the books that I will be showcasing in this part. Um, are in this bundle here, so let me just unbox this. Let's do right. Let's see here. So it. The middle one I want to remove from this, isn't it? Yep, it's the middle one I want to remove because I can't show this one yet. This is part of the next one. <coughs> right. Right, there we go. There's those two Beneath Summerfield books unsheathed from the cling film sheath of sheafiness, of cling filminess of sheafiness. The first book out of this massive book unboxing bundle um, of six Beneath Summerfield books that I will be showing is Walking to Babylon by Kate Orman. So yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look at the presentation of this Doctor Who book. So we've got The New Adventures and a Walking to Babylon, Kate Orman. And then for the sort of cover art in itself, we have uh, Beneath Summerfield sort of looking up at this sort of massive Egyptian style city. Uh, which it looks like it's made out of lapis with all sorts of um, weird sort of animals on the side of it and that's a unicorn and that's sort of a um, uh, that's sort of me without my coffee in the morning um, and there you've got um, sort of citizens uh, some guy in a horse and some guy in a big kinky purple box or sort of lilac a big sort of floating orby sphere thing there and then for the spine we have Walking to Babylon Kate Orman, New Adventures and then for the back we have Walking to Babylon. I'm scared of letting all these people down. Walking to Babylon, quote, Synopsis, The New Adventures, A Beer About Kate Orman. Kate Orman lives in Sydney, Australia. 
Cover design is by Slater Anderson. Cover painting is by Mark Salawowski. The New Adventures is an imprint of Virgin Publishing Limited. The original prices uh, UK, US, Canada, and Australia. Science fiction barcode. And now for the synopsis on this Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure. Walking to Babylon. I'm scared of letting all these people down, like the whole human race. At least if I get blown up as well, they can say I died heroically, assuming that I never existed at all. When Beneath Summerfield visits the people, an incredibly advanced civilization living in a Dyson sphere, mmm, vacuum cleaners, she discovers that even in Utopia they still have their problems. An illegal time travel experiment threatens a war that could destroy them all. Rather than whisk it, the people and their ultra-powerful computer god are powered to eradicate the source of the problem, the ancient city of Babylon. But such an action would involve the death of a quarter of a million human beings and do, and do incalculable damage to Earth's history. Babylon and the human race have one hope. Then he returns to the cradle of civilization to try and stop the interference. She has just one week to prevent a catastrophe that could mean she will never be born. Her only assistance comes from a Victorian linguist who has stumbled across the experiment himself. But he's no help at all, even though he has a power none of them suspects. Kate Warman lives in Sydney, Australia, wrote most of this book in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and is feeling somewhat jet-lagged. She has written numerous novels for Virgin, including The Great Return of the Living Dad. And then for the interior, we have an N.A. Walking to Babylon quote, The New Adventures Walking to Babylon, uh, Kate Warman N.A., various copyright guff, little lowly bits of poetry. Author's note, and then the start of this book. This is a good grief, this is interesting. 257 page long Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure spread across uh, two prologues, the second prologue of which is titled Chapter Zero, with medical advice from Kate Horm at the top there. 13 core chapters. And then it has at the end acknowledgement, appendix one, Ikabam poetry, uh, sort of graph type things in the back here. More of that, and more of that there, and even more sort of guff at the back there about the book. Um, appendix two, bibliography. Uh, so very sort of immersive, uh, sort of stylistic things to put into the book, I would say. Then there you've got advertisements for other books available in the Virgin New Adventure line. Um, and then there you've got Coming Soon. So yeah, I don't know a terrible lot about this book, but the synopsis itself does sound really interesting. And Kate Orman is a great, great writer. Wrote a, an amazing uh, Virgin New Adventure called Return of the Living Dad, which I give an 8 co-wrote one of my favourite Doc 2 books of all time, Seeing Eye, with Jonathan Blum, which gets a 10. Also wrote one of the most um, praised Doc 2 books ever, um, Year of the Intelligent Tigers, amongst others. Kate Orman is just a very, very respected um, Doc 2 writer overall, and even sort of um, uh, contributed to the So Vile a Sin sort of um, legacy, I guess you would say, after the computer crash that Ben, 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 ben Aranovic had, that Ben Aranovic had, um, and she was drawn into like uh, write um, to help rewrite um, or to help write um, so Valerson with Ben Aranovic after the hard drive crash. Um, so yeah, I like Benice, uh, I like Kate Warman's writing. Uh, I like Return of the Living Dad, and I like. Um, uh, what should we call it? Seeing Eye. So this should be a fun read, or good read, and it's got some very immersive stuff at the back there. Like I said, very interested in reading this Doctor Who book, or this Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure. The final book I will be showcasing in this part is Oblivion, a, another one of those uh, Dave Stone Virgin New Adventure Beneath Summerfield books. 
So for the cover we have the New Ventures NA Oblivion Dave Stone and then for the cover itself we have uh, somebody, uh, one of the characters in this book in sort of a big sort of space gear with a massive laser gun which reminds me of the um, suit um, Christopher, no not Christopher Quedge, um, is it Chris Quedge? Yeah, Christopher Quedge and Rosalind Forrester has uh, are wearing on the cover of um, Original Sin uh, some candles, one of which is not lit. Um, Tables, sort of nice sort of living room area of plants, curtains, um, big head and a big eye. Uh, and then for the spine we have Oblivion, Dave Stone, N.A. And then for the back we have Oblivion, uh, quote, uh, synopsis, the new, uh, and then there you've got cover painting by Slater Anderson, cover painting is by John Sullivan, the new adventures in imprints of Virgin Publishing Limited, UK 599 original and, uh, and other original prices down there, science fiction barcode. And now for the synopsis on this Doctor Who book. Ros snarled up into the face of her abductor. If you touch me, I'll kill you. Who are you? Just what the hell is going on? The blonde man looked down at her with a mixture of what looks like fear and pain. My name is Chris Quedge, he said, and as to what's going on, hell is probably a good word for it as any. Something has burst through the worn and patchwork fabric of the universe, like a high velocity round through a rotten apple. The timelines are cut loose and whip soaring. Alternative pasts, presents and future slicing through the world uh, we think of as real. At the centre of the disruption, three adventures, Nathan, Lil, Shao, Letha and Kuru are trapped on a parallel earth, flung from one of the twisted alternative to another man by called Deed, who has um he uh, spurred uh, the power of the Godhead to reach them in time, they will be obliterated. Deed is attempting to forge his own reality and consign others to oblivion. To help uh, end the chaos, uh, Salami has assembled a number of old friends. Beneath Summerfield, the feckless John Kane, Jason Kane, and Christopher Rodinante Quedge. But there's some, but there has been one small mistake. A miscalculation has placed someone uh, among them who should not be there. Someone who should be dead. And then for the, and then I'm guessing that's uh, uh, Rosalind Forrester on the cover there. Then for the interior, we have N.A. Oblivion quote from the book. Uh, and then there you've got various copyright guff. And then this is for, and then dedications. And then there you've got um, sort of this sort of um, interesting sort of um, quote, I think. Oh wow, so it looks like this is a um, uh, trilogy. You were looking so serious there for a moment. The observant would of course have realised that this is the third and final book in the Clockwork trilogy. The one which I'm, I'm, I'm always on. The one, that cap the one that started with Sky Pirates and construction with a capital C, continued with the development of death and diplomacy, and now ends with deconstruction, dissolution, obliteration, misery, futility and death. We're going down the rabbit hole, boys, and it doesn't exactly lead to Wonderland. But then again, you've got to laugh. It does you good. On a general subject of madness, I incidentally, someone I forgot who came up with a very short definition for clinical paranoia. You can think that every single person in the world is out to get you and not to be paranoid. If you think that even one table lamp or a piece of Stilton cheese is out to get you, then you are. Also, and incidentally, in, in the researching of this book, I finally got around to reading When Rabbit House, the Howling Rabbit woman had a grand total of 74 distinct personalities, apparently one of whom was a literary genius on a level with Shakespeare and Joyce, which tends to be, beg the question, where the hell was he when she wrote the bloody book? Mind my hat, Dave Stone. That's a fucking great tease to the book. And then there you've got the actual start of the book with a prologue. This is a 234, 244 page long Beneath Summerfield Virgin New Adventure with a prologue. Uh, first chapter there. M more sort of, uh, wait. And then there you've got another part. Yeah, uh, you've got couple parts in this book, strike one, 
strike out, which is what strike four. Dave Stone, you're writing a fucking book, not f playing fucking baseball. What are you doing, you twat? Strike three. <laughs> Lots of different sub chapters. I'm confused already. I seriously don't know. You've got a de denouement, resident reset endings, appendix. Uh, advertisements for other Virgin New Adventures and then there we've got coming soon um see so yeah um Dave Stone looked like he just went insane with this Doctor Who book as you would have uh sort of gathered from that extract that I read right then this book appears to be so insane to the point where Dave Stone just made me change my camera um <clears throat> So yeah, it looks like a very sort of mad Doctor Who book, which Dave Stone is known for. He's like, I think I said, um, uh, and I think he sort of like, so yeah, uh, looks like a very mad Doctor Who book. Um, interesting that this is part of a trilogy with um, Sky Pirates and um, uh, Death and Diplomacy. Um, so yeah, it should be an interesting Doctor Who book to read, it's probably going to make me go insane with all of the sub-chapters, the baseball-like uh, parts with Strike One, etc, etc. So yeah, it just looks like a very mad Doctor Who book um, overall, and it's going to be an interesting read to say the least, but if I do start reading this, it'll probably make me go insane. So yeah, there is that, Oblivion by Dave Stone. So yeah, and, there was, and that was this part of this massive multi-part Underworld update. I will be resuming the massive book unboxing of Beneath Summerfield books in the next part.